What's up everybody? First of all, I just want to give you guys a little disclaimer. Today's video is probably going to be pretty short. I've worked in about five hours and not really sure what I'm going to record today. But today I'm going to be talking about why I put those stickers on my car. And if you don't know what stickers I'm talking about, stay tuned and you'll definitely find out. I'm going to talk about that today. So let's get right into this video. I need to drink my coffee and then, yeah, we'll see what happens. Oh yeah, yeah that's, some, that's some good coffee right there. Cheers. Cheers. What do you guys think? Cold start time? I, I think I think we need to uh, I think we need to get a little cold start. Yeah, that was pretty nice. I think it needs to be louder still, but we'll get there someday. Just gonna grab a quick car wash so I can do some cinematic shots for you guys. And yeah, after this I'm gonna head to the parking garage and finish this video off or at least get most of it done. I'm up here on top of the parking garage, got the car parked back behind me, and I'm basically just gonna do a little cinematic montage of the car. So yeah, cue the montage right now. What's drifting? It's like, you know like Mustangs, rear wheel drive cars, stuff like that? Yeah. So they basically like, it's kind of hard to explain, but... Oh, because this is four-wheel drive, so you yeah. can make it feel like that? Yeah, well, like, they basically, they're spinning the back tires, so they're losing traction. Yeah. And then they're just coming yeah. around a corner yeah, yeah, like yeah, that. So the main point of this video is why did I put these stickers on my car, on my hood and my windshield? And a lot of people ask me this question, so I think I'm just going to give you guys an answer real quick. And it's really a simple answer. I'm pretty sure that all of you guys know what Paul Walker's R34 Skyline looked like, right? So he had the decals right here on his hood. So that's literally why I did it, because, because of his sky, Skyline. I liked how it looked, and I put these on here. They aren't the same decals as Paul Walker's Skyline, but they still look pretty dope. And then uh, one of my friends recommended that I do this right here with the white letters, so I did that as well, and I think it looks really nice. So there we go, everybody that wonders why I put these stickers on my car. It's a really simple answer, it's just because of Paul Walker's Skyline. I like the decals on it, I like the way it looks. People look at my car all the time now, especially with my new wheels. I'll be driving in traffic and I'll just see people like turning their heads so hard. Really simple answer, and I hope you guys understand why I did that. Before I leave the parking garage, I'm probably going to take a quick time lapse off of this ledge over here. Then I'm probably just going to head home and chill out for a little bit. I have work in about three hours. So after that, I'll probably edit this video and get it uploaded for you guys. But let me get a quick time lapse. I'll show you where I'm going to set my camera up. I'm going to set it right here. You can see down and over. Should be a pretty dope time lapse. <laughs> I'm about to rant really, really hard, so if you don't want to hear any negativity today, just skip this part of the video. So here's what happened, right? I was up here taking pictures of my car, you know, not, I mean, there's nobody parked up here. Zero cars, except for this one, which is the one I had a problem with. I'm not in anybody's way. There's plenty of parking spaces over there, all right? So I'm up here taking pictures of my car. This dude in this lame dad mobile over here comes up. He parks, he parks his car right here. He was parked. They, first they pulled in over there, then he backed in over here, and then for some reason, for some reason, he takes his car from here and drives it up and around and parks it behind my car where I'm taking pictures. Now this wouldn't be a problem except I didn't want a stupid ass minivan in my pictures. So I moved my car, I was also taking a time lapse over there, like you guys just saw the time lapse, so I moved my car, and then they're just parked here. I was just taking pictures of my car, and I didn't want his stupid ass car in the background. I'm not up here, I'm not up here in anybody's way, at all, except for this guy, with his lame dad mobile. Like seriously, he was parked, he was already parked over there. Anyways, I'm sorry for ranting, but seriously, like, I'm up here taking pictures of my car, and not, I'm not in anybody's way, he was already parked right there and then he just decides to park behind my car where I was taking pictures. My car wasn't right here, it was right here. 
like right where I was standing. This is where my car was, right here. And he, he parked his car back behind it. I know it's really stupid to rant about, but like seriously, this could be like, there's people that take pictures of cars for a living. And like, if I'm up here, not in anybody's way, and this dude just comes parks behind my car, now his car is in my pictures, and I could be making like a ton of money off these pictures, but now he's in my way. And I wasn't in anybody's way. He already had his car parked over there. Sorry, I'm sorry for ranting, but uh, I'm going home. Hello, what can I get for you? Hi, can I get a medium mocha frappuccino, please? Anything else? That's it. I got a mocha frapp to take the edge off. All right, back home now. I think I'm just gonna edit this video and edit those pictures that I took. If you guys wanna check this out, they'll be on my Instagram. I'll leave a little thing across the screen so you guys can see it. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure to drop a like down below. Also comment what you thought and subscribe for more videos like this one. Also share the video with your friends if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.